The Wizards took a fat L, but the football team took a big W. The lead, there is still time on the What is going on, Washington fans? Hope you guys are having a great day, and I'm coming at you with my just news that came out today and updates to the football team when it comes to your agency. Made some really good signings today, but really wait, made some really good moves today in free agency. Before I get into the video, like, comment, subscribe for more Washington content, and let's get straight into it. Straight up, the Washington Panthers, man. If we finally got. Curtis Samuel, wide receiver from the from the Panthers, twenty four years old, three years, thirty four point five million dollars, like it's like like eleven point five a year, and we did overpay him, man. You know I, the receiver market is really low, and that's because you know this draft coming up is a lot of talented receivers, and Kenny Galladay is still out there. He's probably going to go to the Giants, but I'm really happy that we got Curtis Samuel. I really wanted him before free agency even started. The guy is a gadget. He's a Army Swiss knife. He knows Scott Turner's offense as him and Ron Rivera and Scott Turner were all in Carolina and he can play in the slot, literally can uh, be handed off. He can take, uh, he can take straight up hand handoffs and he just jet sweeps everything, man. He's dangerous. He's quick. Him, Antonio Gibson and Terry McLaurin both ran a, all three of them ran a 4-3 on the combine. Speed kills, man. But I'm so happy we got him. Looking at his stats last year, he had a career year, 77 receptions for 851 yards, three touchdowns, and rushed for 200 yards. And man, oh man, a number two receiver that we desperately needed. Now teams can't double team Terry McLaurin because we have Curtis Samuel on the other side. So, and then Terry McLaurin was so excited too. On Twitter, he was like, finally, we've been talking about playing together as teammates, as freshmen in college, and now we're on the same team. So I'm happy for Terry finally has someone that can draw attention away from him. But yeah, Curtis Samuel, amazing move. You know, hopefully Scott Turner can get creative with his plays. And now that we have Ryan Fitzpatrick, yeah, hopefully he, he'll be able to sling the ball downfield if he's a starter to Terry McCormick or Curtis Samuel. But yeah, man, just a great move. Finally got the receiver, a number two receiver, a, a really good number two receiver, man. And now this offense, I really like. It's looking good, man. I, I, I with this team right now, I can go into next season with confidence in our offense. Now, other moves. This was today at eight in the eight o'clock, I think. So we just like making moves at night. Ron Rivera likes. Is he's, he's like Batman? He just wants to work at night. The day. So yesterday at around ten o'clock, we signed cornerback William Jackson the third from Cincinnati. It was a a three year deal, forty two million. So we. Paid him 14 mil a year. Now, at first, I don't know who this guy was. But now, looking back at it, I read some notes, watched some tape. The guy played like a top 10 corner last year, man. And, you know, when he played, when we played Cincinnati last year, when Joe Burrow got hurt, Terry, when he was, he did a great job against Terry McCorn. Terry McCorn had a, had a fight for those balls that he caught. And he did a pretty good job. The guy is, knows how to, play uh man to man great man to man loves uh, playing press coverage so i love this pickup you know him on one side kindle for the other side i say it's an upgrade from arnold darby i'm gonna miss darby but i think william jackson is way better so <laughs> it's nice to see him a new addition to the cornerback and i still think we need to add depth to the cornerback position so we'll see how that goes in the draft but some other resign uh other moves we resigned lamar miller some more depth to the running back position. We re-signed David Sharp, a solid tackle. We cut Nick Sunberg, our long snapper, who's been here since 2010, the longest tenure of a player on this team. It sucks, but I don't know why we did it. Maybe for contract reasons. I don't think it saved any cap space, but we'll know in the future. But man, oh man. William Jackson, a high number two corner, low number one. This defense just got better, man. And you know... We're making, we're making moves, man. All three of these moves so far. Before we signed Curtis Samuel, free agency was like a B, but now I'm giving it an A, man. Address the wide receiver position, upgrade cornerback position, and we brought competition for the quarterback position. So, man, I'm loving it, man. I'm really loving it. I can't wait. If we make any of the moves, I'll, let, I'll make videos about that. We have like around 12 million in cap space. The draft should be soon. So now that we signed Curtis Samuel, that first round pick, it's, I think it's just got to be a linebacker or a quarterback, man. 
as receiver, it's not a big need. Maybe we can get a receiver in the third. But our offense, man, if we can somehow get a young quarterback, and I don't know if Taylor Heineke is that guy, but, man, the culture is looking dang good. I was doubting Ron. Again, I don't know why I do that, but I got to have faith in him. He takes his time making his moves, and it's paid off. We can see the vision. And, man, oh, man, Curtis Samuel. Oh, I can't wait to see him play this year alongside Terry. So, yeah, man. It's going to be great. I can't wait, dude. I'm so excited for this team next year. We're going to be dangerous. I guarantee it. And for the Wizards, Darren Fox with the game winner. Russell Westbrook missed two dunks literally wide open. Turned over the ball in the last play. And they just threw out of bounds. Five-game losing streak. Who cares about the Wizards right now? They suck. They stink. It's all about the football team. And they're looking great. Just the polar opposites. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it, guys. Peace. Hail to the football team.